So this is the update for the join FSM approval workflow module. The workflow module provides a configurable way to uh, do approvals for work requests. Uh, what we have are configurable approval matrices, which have metadata based conditions, multi-level approvals, and uh, even multiple matrices that can be tied to a single task type. In the example that we'll be showing here, uh, we'll go over a work request that has an approval based on the work request's economic uh, cost, which is set up as an attribute. And we'll have two uh, conditions on the matrix, one for a different level of approvals for horizontal wells and one for vertical wells. So first we'll go into the general config here and we'll set up our global attribute. A global attribute is just an attribute that you can use for approval matrices. It just applies to all, all the tasks. So here we have our economics attribute that we're calling for our work requests and it's set up as an integer. Now we'll move over and set up our matrix. So I have it set up here, the economic matrix for work requests. We'll click into there and you can see we've named it. Um, we've got some settings for what type of approval options um, whether we want all levels, if there's multiple levels to approve. We can set it up for parallel or series approval. We can just define what fields and areas we want it to apply on. And finally, we get into the actual matrix setup. So here we have our first matrix, which is shown as stop and stop type is equal to horizontal wells. So that's the metadata condition and it starts at a minimum approval requirement for 3,000 on the economic um, attribute and then up to 5,000 we have our primary and secondary approvers and from uh, 5,000 to 10,000 we have our primary and secondary approvers. And beyond that we have our second matrix which is for vertical wells so there you can see the condition uh, metadata condition for vertical wells. <clears throat> And again, this one starts at a lower value at 100 being the minimum threshold for approval. Uh, all the way up to 1000, we have our primary and secondaries. And then uh, from 1000 to 5000, we have our primary and secondaries. Okay, so here we have our task type set up. I've got our work request set up, uh, assigned for lease operators. Uh, I'm not gonna set up any other um, uh, task features here. I'm just going to show that the economic matrix is assigned here for the work requests and that's pretty much all we need to do here. Okay, so here we are adding a work request on the Dietz 8 facility stop which is a, a vertical well. So if you remember the vertical well had its approval starting at uh, 100 so I've added the economics attribute here at 250. So we'll go ahead and submit that. Okay, so now that it's submitted, we'll go into our requests. And over there we can see it on both the tabs, one as an approval request that I need to approve and then one as a work request that I have submitted. And if we click on the work request link, we can see a little card pop up that shows up what the approval amounts are and who has to approve. Similarly on the approval request tab, those are the incoming requests that we have to approve. So this one I requested it and I have to approve it. Uh, so it's just going in and back and forth between myself. I will go ahead and approve it. You can see that it's approved and we'll go ahead and update it now. And now you can see that it's approved. Eventually it'll disappear. And now it's gone, uh, both from the My Request and the Approval Request tab. The reason for that is we have to now filter for approved requests, uh, since otherwise when it's active, it won't show up under active. So if we go to Approved, Filter, we can see it, and I can see that it's all approved. And we can see that on the other tab as well. We'll just filter for the approved requests for the date. And there it is. 
So on this next uh, example, we'll have multi-level between a couple different people. So here we are adding our work request again. And this time we will choose a horizontal stop, and that's the Dietz 8 well pad, I believe. The 8-2, yes. And we'll go ahead and fill out the rest, uh, primarily our economics attribute. In this case, we'll choose 9,000 since uh, you know that one had an approval starting at a thousand and five thousand going all the way up to ten thousand so let's see what that looks like we go to our request tab and you'll see immediately there's two different approval levels and matrices it's a five thousand and a ten thousand if we click on the card we can see for five thousand i'm the approver and for ten thousand there's another user that has to approve Okay, we'll go and edit, and I will first approve. And we can see the other approvers action that we can't access. Go ahead and update it. And now we can see in a little bit, once it updates, that one matrix is now approved at the 5,000 level but the 10,000 level is still pending. Similarly, we can go to the My Work Requests and do the same thing. Now what I'll do is I'll pull up a different uh, browser window here. Okay, and now that we're logged in as the other person, we can see that here are his, uh, his view of the uh, work request. So he can see that I approved, and now he can go in and go to edit, and he can see that I've approved there, and then edit his part and approve from there. I can confirm that. Now that it's updated, we'll filter for the approved tasks on today's uh, date, and we can see uh, that it's now approved. And we go come back to my view and also filter for the approved requests on the same date. And we can see the one we just did. And similarly, if we go to the approved requests, ones that I've approved, again, that shows the same thing. All right, so that's our quick update on the Join FSM Approval Workflow module. Uh, we'll have another video coming out in a couple weeks with the uh, mobile updates uh, for the same workflow as well. This was just the web approval site. All right, so thank you, stay tuned, and we'll have another update for you in a couple weeks.